Okay, so the moment that we all want to now hear about, when you first met the man to your left, you know, what was that like? You know, for you to, to be having this emerging identity and, and uh, realizing you met him a little bit later than that, but then to meet Mr. Japanese American himself, you know, <laughs> what, what, what did you think? What, what was going through your mind? Well, I think the first time we actually, oh, the first time we actually met um, was at, wasn't it at the Cochiano? It was before Chicago. It was at um, Jimmy and Tommy and Yuri and Bill and Aichi and Billy and Audie and Eddie's house in New York. Kochiyama. Kochiyama's. Uh, uh, Bill and Mary, Mary was, Yuri was called Mary at the time, and I still haven't given up the name Mary, which I affectionately feel for her. Uh, I, I met there, he had come with uh, several, or a couple of people from LA. There was starting to be a New York and LA connection among Sanseis, particularly Sanseis. But in New York, as Mom had said, that there were Niseis who were very active too. Uh, anyway, that's where I first met him. Um, and it was just kind of a, my first feeling was he was a big shot coming from LA. <laughs> I was new to it all because I was like 19, so it wasn't long after oh, that okay. other experience. It, my eyes were wide open, and I didn't feel comfortable there. I didn't feel comfortable at all, but I wanted to be there, and I wanted to fit in. So I served the rice. <laughs> that I felt comfortable doing. I became the rice girl. <laughs> That's how Lauren remembers, remembers me. That's what Mary called her. That's the rice girl. <laughs> Warren, when, when did you first notice Lisa? Well, since rice is pretty important to me, as you can see. <laughs> Meeting the rice girl was pretty important. No, I, Lisa was a part of a, a larger group of folks that uh, several of us were getting to know in New York City. Uh, several people that some of you know, uh, Victor Shibata and Ron Wakabashi, uh, we had been hired uh, at the time by the Japanese American Citizens League, sort of as the young Turks, the new generation, and um, we were, uh, uh, I, I was very fortunate to have an opportunity to travel. And so we were in New York meeting with people, and there's a, another long story to it, uh, uh, maybe for another time, but uh, we just happened in Yuri Kochama, the Kochama household in Harlem was sort of Operation Central for just a whole bunch of things. And so um, at, at that potluck dinner where we were, and this was not the first time, this was the second time I had come to New York. The first time did not go real well. Uh, I had been sent along with Victor. We were sent by the JCL to go meet these radicals in New York because they were going to be demonstrating at the National Convention in Chicago. And since we were radicals from the West Coast, they wanted us to go find out what was going on. So we went, and then we met this really unusual group of activists, mostly Japanese American, and of all places, New York City. And the activist base was Nisei. And we were all Sansei, I'm Sansei Yonsei, but that in itself was totally different, talking politics to people that were my mother's age. And so that was really just different, but um, uh, that was our first meeting. They were very suspicious of us because we were from the JCL. Uh, we didn't know the whole history of JCL at that time. And uh, some of the Nisei had old feelings about JCL from the camp days. And so there were different attitudes. But uh, uh, the meeting didn't go real well. The only people that were nice to us were uh, uh, Mary Kochiyama and uh, uh, Kazu Ujima, uh, two Nisei women. They were nice to us. but. The others were pretty suspect, and uh, 
and the meeting didn't go well. And so we were invited to come out again, and uh, we're just not real interested in coming the second time, but we came out again to uh, again have another dialogue, and it was totally different. It was at this potluck dinner at, at Mary's house, Yuri's house, and that's when I met Lisa and uh, Nobuko Miyamoto and Chrissy Jima, if you, if you know their work in terms of their music and writing. Um, Nobuko has performed uh, for the museum many times, but uh, that was the first time they performed together. And uh, so it was sort of this interesting gathering of people. And then uh, we all met with people from Detroit, Grace Boggs from Detroit, who was a Japanese American woman, but very active in the civil rights movement. People from Philadelphia, from Denver, uh, we all convened on the Japanese American National Convention. I think it was 69 or 70 and uh, uh, at the Chicago Convention. And so all of these activists from throughout the country, dominantly Japanese American, came together and met and we uh, got to know each other and developed networks. And we did a whole program at the uh, National Convention about the Vietnam War. And uh, that was received in a very interesting way. Uh, uh, there was some openness in terms of what was going on in Vietnam and people's concern was growing even in the JCL, although at that time still dominantly Nisei, uh, clearly Nisei. But there was openness and then uh, other people that were really upset with us. And uh, But I was pretty used to it at, at that point. The, uh, my involvement in the Japanese American community was uh, uh, a, a different kind of involvement. I mean, I didn't do that much growing up, and I don't know if you want me to go here with yeah. this, but uh, uh, I, I attributed mainly to the fact that, uh, as Mitch had acknowledged, my mother and father met in camp and, uh, during World War II. My father was a, 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 in the Army, and came back to visit his family. I think it was in Rohr or Jerome. I keep forgetting which one worked which way. But uh, my mother was active in the USO, along with Mary Kochiyama, coincidentally. And my father's from San Pedro, and Yuri's from San Pedro also. So my dad's actually from Terminal Island. So a Terminal Island sort of big city guy met a country girl from Elk Grove in Sheldon, California, south of Sacramento a farm girl in, in camp. And uh, then um, their experience uh, was, was quite different because of the different backgrounds, but uh, I'm a product of that. And in terms of uh, my father, though, his family's from Hawaii. So although of Nisei age, he was a sunset. And just being a different generation in the Japanese American community, we all well know, makes quite a difference. So even though he was the same age as all of my, all of my Japanese American friends' parents, he was totally different. I mean, he would talk to us, for example. Most of the Nisei fathers that we knew at that time, if they grunted at you, you were lucky. <laughs> my father would engage my friends. I, I had, my brothers and I had the cool dad. My dad was very cool. He, he uh, was a musician, he played jazz, my brothers and I, we all are musicians in different parts of our lives. Uh, my brother underneath me is a, a serious musician. My older brother has been a musician and taught music and been a music director at his high school until his retirement. So music is a big part of our life because of my father.